All right, so if you look down at the bottom left corner of your Excel window, you should see a little button next to the ready text. This button is used to record macros. If you don't see it, right click next to ready and select macro recording. Now let's go ahead and click that button to set up our macro. Name it as you'd like. Give it a shortcut, but be careful not to overwrite current shortcuts. To be safe, I'm going to use Control Shift plus a letter. Store the macro in this workbook. Then you can give it a description if you'd like, but I'm just going to leave mine blank. Click OK to begin recording your macro. For my macro, I'm just going to have it highlight all my numbers here that are greater than 2000. To do this, I'm going to highlight all my numbers, go to the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting, select Highlight Cell Rules, and then click on the Greater Than option. In here, I'm just going to type 2000 and then click OK. Then I'm going to click away from my highlighted cells. Now I'm going to stop recording my macro by clicking the Stop button next to Ready. Now that my macro is done, I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo my formatting so that I can use my macro. I'm going to use the shortcut I assigned to my macro earlier to trigger it. Alright, and there you have it, we have a working macro. One last thing you might want to do is delete existing macros. To do this, go to the View tab. Click on the Macros drop down button. Select View Macros. Select the macro you'd like to delete and then click the Delete button. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this tutorial useful.